Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopsadaPage.com and today we are going to do an unboxing and review of the Retro FC Plus 168-in-1 game console from Gearbest.com. So let's get into it. Alright, we got here the Retro FC Plus game console from Gearbest.com. It has a Go Coma sticker right here at the top because that's actually the product name on their website. So don't be confused about that. So it has 168-in-1 games on it. At its side, we have the different parts of the Retro FC game console. We'll dig in further on that later. Flipping it around, we can see the contents of the box and it looks like we have a black one right here. And at this side, yeah, definitely we have a black color right here. And at the back, we have more information about the product. At the bottom, we have nothing more, so let's do the unboxing. Inside the box, we have the Retro FC game console itself. Let's set it aside for now. We also have a user manual which thankfully is written in English and it looks like it's easy to understand without any weird translations. We also have a charging cable here, although unfortunately it's a mini USB. And lastly, we have the audio and video out cable so that you can plug and play this on your TV. So let's see the actual GoComma Retro FC Plus 168-in-1 game console. At first touch, it actually looks good and it feels nice in the hands more than I was expecting it to be. In front, we have the buttons which are very tactile and has discrete audible feedback on them. The feel of the buttons are pretty much what you might expect from a retro game console. It doesn't feel super mushy and the sound it makes provides that nostalgic feel. The speaker on the bottom right corner is functional, it's not the best as you might expect but it fits perfectly with the retro vibe we have going on right here. The dimensions of this game console is around 3 inch width, 4.5 inch height, and 0.7 inch thick in my own measurements. It also weighs around 106 grams which is pretty lightweight and the overall build quality is surprisingly good. At the top, we have the power switch, the mini USB port for charging, and the TV out port. On its side, we have the volume knob, and at the back, we have the battery compartment. The Retro FC Plus uses a lithium-ion BL5C battery that is also used in some Nokia phones. This is actually pretty nice since you can easily find a replacement just in case. The only downside is that the packaging did not include a power adapter. But since it's USB, you can pretty much use any standard wall adapter that came with a smartphone and similar devices. The screen is a 3-inch TFT display, the image quality is okay and nothing to write home about, which is perfectly fine since we're talking about 8-bit retro games right here. The colors of the games included are obviously off or washed out, which I think is intentional due to copyright issues. Regardless, you're not buying this because of the image quality, but for what it's worth and that nostalgic experience. Now when it comes to performance, all the buttons are tactile and responsive and I didn't encounter any issues with it. The Y and B buttons are your normal buttons, while the X and A buttons are the turbo ones. In terms of input lag, I tested the Retro FC Plus in both the handheld console itself and connected to a TV and there's basically no noticeable input lag. All the inputs were detected and the actions were performed as soon as I press a button. The TV out is also functional but the audio video wire is a little bit short if you want to lay back on your couch from afar. Although this game console uses a BL5C battery, the rated capacity on this one is only 850mA, which is still quite decent and can last up to 6 hours give or take. I did a quick research and the BL5C capacity actually varies depending on the manufacturer, especially with the generic ones. The Retro FC Plus includes a whopping 168-in-1 games built in with it. It includes popular titles such as Contra, Double Dragon, Super Mario Bros., Adventure Island, 1942, tanks, and a lot more. It also comes with several unusual and weird games such as Kung Fu Panda, which is basically Super Mario Brothers with a freaking panda, Plants vs. Zombies, Angry Bird, Harry Potter, and a lot more. Now, this goes without saying, but these are obviously knockoff ROMs from the original NES, but it's still certainly fun to play with. The only downside and might be the deal breaker is that it doesn't allow you to save your game. It doesn't have any storage option to save your progress. So you pretty much have to start from scratch every time you lose all your life. With this, I think the Retro FC Plus is more of a toy and a device for pastime rather than a legit game console that you can put hours of playtime to complete the game you want. 
So to conclude, the GoComo Retro FC Plus 168-in-1 game console is such a novelty device that will certainly bring you back down memory lane. It will definitely fill you with lots of nostalgia with tons of retro games that pretty much sums up your childhood. Whether you're a millennial or not, as long as you were introduced to these games, you will certainly love this cute little console. The only downside really is the inability to save your progress which ultimately makes this as a toy for pastime rather than a legit game console. Regardless, for the price of only around 781 pesos or 15 US dollars, the Retro FC Plus is certainly worth the fun. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article link on the description below. Huge thanks to GearBest.com for sending this in. You can get this from their official website, link on the description below as well. Thanks again for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a great day.